Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. In today's episode, it's Topaz Studio 2, My Creative Toolbox. Getting creative with the focal blur filter. The focal blur filter is really awesome. Now, I, I really enjoy it. You can get super creative with it. I'm a big fan of uh, lens baby lenses and uh, creative blur using lens baby lenses. But hey, if you don't have lens baby lenses, you can create that those kind of effects right in uh, Topaz Studio 2. This is going to be a fun one today. I'm going to show you how to do this. But first, let me let you know there's a few more days left on the Topaz Holiday Promo. You'll save 30% off all software bundles and software upgrades. Plus, at the checkout, if you use my uh, promo code David Kelly, you'll save an additional 15%. Click on my affiliate link in the uh, description below and it'll take you right to that cell. And now, on to the tutorial. I'm working right out of Topaz Studio 2 today, so let's go up here to add filter and let's have some fun. Let's come into the creative section, which I think should be called the stylistic section. But anyway, creative section, and you're going to find it right here, focal blur. Give that a click. That opens up the focal blur filter. Now, this is really great. Now, you'll notice right now we're starting out with the circular blur. This is really cool for those lens baby type effects. And uh, then we have tilt shift, and I'll show you that later. Tilt shift, think of things like um, like mini miniaturized photography, things like that. Pretty cool stuff. But we'll start out with the circular blur. And uh, you'll notice we have this circle on the screen here. Now you can take this and you can move this around. If you don't see it, you can come here and see this little crosshatch icon here. This little cross right here or target, whatever you want to call it. Just give it a click and that'll bring that up. And then you can take this and you can move it around anywhere you want on your image here. But Look at that right there, and I'm going to shut that uh, circle off so you can see. But isn't that cool? It gives you a nice little blurry effect. And you can adjust the size of it, the shape of it. It's really cool. And I love blur. It, it really can turn your image from being maybe a drab, throwaway image into something very special. All right, let's adjust some things on this uh, focal blur filter here. So let's click back on this uh, target tool right here. And you can change the shape of this. See, I can make it more like an oval shape here. If you hover outside the uh, circle here, you can you get the little uh, curved arrows there. See, so you can adjust how the angle is. So we can elongate it or whatever we want to do. We can narrow it here. And, uh, and then we can move it anywhere that we want. So say we like something like that. Let me just move this up a little bit. I want to make sure I got the top of this uh, really cool, probably a, I'm a clock tower here or something. Might be a church. Who knows? I don't know. This is a stock image, by the way. I'll link it in the description below in case you want to, you know, follow along with me. And uh, it's a free stock image. Anyway, so there, that looks pretty cool. Now, once we get it to where we, in the position we like it, and we can adjust the shape. Okay, so you can widen it out here. Do whatever you want. You can increase the size of the whole thing here. Okay, and again, you can you can turn it, so it's really cool. But then you have the blur strength. You can adjust the blur strength. And what I usually like to do is shut off the uh, the the visual aid here by just clicking that target icon again, and that gets rid of that. Now we can adjust the blur here, make the blur more blurry or less blurry. Uh, and I don't like to go too crazy like this because that looks stupid, right? In my opinion, you may like it. I don't know, but adjust it the way you like it. Okay. So I'm going to say maybe something like that looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like a lens, maybe sweet spot area right in here, which is really nice. And then you have a transition here. So if you move this transition in the whole way, you can see the actual hard edge of, of the circle right there. Okay. But then you can take that transition and you can smooth it out and just move it to where where it just transitions really nice for you. And I'd say maybe somewhere right around in here looks really good. So isn't that cool? So here's my before and here's the after. So as you can see, there's a before and here's the after. You can take with a few easy adjustments here. This is a very simple tool to work with or filter to work with. Take something that's just okay into something that is very, very special. I love it. This video won't be too long today because this is a real easy filter to use, but super effective. Let me go ahead and shut off the uh, this focal blur uh, layer right here, and let's go with another one here. Let's add another filter, and I'll show you the tilt shift. So let's go back and add another focal blur filter here. And this time, let's click on Tilt and Shift. This is where you get that miniature type uh, look to your image. Like they call it a miniature, <laughs> I don't even know what they call it, miniature look, 
Let's just call it miniature look. I don't know, but I think you know what I mean. Right there, you can see it kind of looks like it is a miniature type village here, but it's done with that tilt and shift. If you've ever wondered how that was done, this is how they do it. Or I should say, this is how I do it, or you can do it if you don't own a tilt and shift lens. Now, let me show you how this works. Now, this uh, target tool, when you're in the tilt and shift, uh, the target tool interface does not come up. It only works when you're using the circular blur. Now let's examine these sliders. We'll start off with blur. Moving it to the right makes it more blurry. Moving it to the left makes it less blurry. Then we have a size. That would be the sweet spot, the area that's sharp. You can make it uh, a wider area or move it to the left and narrow it down. And then we have the position slider, which when you move it to the right, it'll move the sweet spot up words. If you move it to the left, it'll move it downwards. So you can adjust it into the perfect position for you, whichever you like. And lastly, we have the rotation slider here. So if you take the rotation slider, move it to the right, see how the sweet spot is moving, move it to the left. Okay. And if I take the size and narrow that size in like this and move the rotation, you can actually get a better understanding of how it's moving. See how it's moving that way. And then when I move it to the left, it moves the opposite direction. So what I want to do, and here's a good little tip, narrow your size, and that'll help you to determine where you want to adjust the set the rotation adjustment to, say like right about there. And then I'm going to go up and take my size and widen that out just to get it where I like. Now, there is no transition adjustment here. It's all automatically set for you. So you don't have to mess with that. So then just adjust your size. And if you need to move your position, down, move it to the left. Or if you need to move it up, move it to the right. And once you get it to the point you like, you're good to go. And then you can adjust your blur and give it more blur or less blur. And I think right around there looks really good. So now I've achieved that miniature effect right there. So look at all the different adjustments. Very simple, but very effective. Here is the uh, before and here's the after. But the tilt shift effect or the tilt and shift effect is very cool. Well, there it is, getting creative with the uh, focal blur filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. I love this filter. It's really cool. Very simple to use, as you can see here, but very effective. Here's that tilt shift look that I made in Topaz Studio 2. And remember, the circular one will give you more of that lens baby type look with that nice little sweet spot of sharpness. And then you can uh, get that nice creative blur and adjust the size of it and do whatever you want, which is super effective and creative. Well, there you go. Getting creative with Creative Blur using the uh, Focal Blur filter in Topaz Studio 2. It's a super easy tool to use or filter to use. It's very fun. It's very effective and very creative. So give it a try. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then also leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you.